Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to the Chinese Entertainment Update, September 20th, 2022. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. This is episode 589 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, Love Between Fairy and Devil's cast hold a fan meet and talk about a possible reunion. Cecilia Liu reacts as many of her fan groups suspend activities. Zhao Lusi shoots down rumors linking her with Xiao Chan and Yang Yang. And does the much discussed love contract really exist? But first, here's what's recently premiered two dramas for today and yesterday. Draw the Line stars Ting Dong, Cheng Yi, and Elvira Chai. The courtroom drama premiered yesterday, September 19th. Ting Dong plays a chief judge in Xincheng District and Cheng Yi his assistant. They scramble one day when they are paid a visit by Elvira Chai's character who's from the Supreme Court and who's trying to learn about a case involving live streaming. Draw the Line is slated for 40 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs, but they're auto-translated. That's it for recently premiered dramas. Moving on, Kunlun Tomb recently announced its imminent premiere. Candle in the Tomb, Kunlun Tomb stars Pan Yueming, Kiri Zhang, and Jiang Chao. Mid last week, the drama announced a September 21st premiere. According to Baidu, in this installment of the Candle in the Tomb series, the trio of Tomb Raiders are hired to find a legendary glacial crystal corpse. Tomb raiding dramas aren't really my thing, but they do have a loyal following. If I'm not mistaken, every previous installment in the Candle in the Tomb series shot to the top of viewing charts. Won't be surprised if this one does as well. Quinlan Tomb is slated for 16 episodes and will premiere on Wii TV. Moving on now, Chongzi recently passed review. Chongzi is an upcoming costume fantasy drama starring Jeremy Xu and Yang Chaoyue. On September 16th, they passed review and obtained an online record number. In the drama, Yang Chaoyue plays the titular Chongzi, a kind-hearted girl who is shunned by many because she has demon blood in her veins. Jeremy Shi plays an immortal who is her master, protector, and lover. Chongzi is slated for 40 episodes and will premiere on Tencent. I will update again when they announce a premiere date. Drama wraps now, I have two to update on. There's Life, a retro drama starring Chen Xiao and Li Qing. The cast and crew wrapped filming on September 15th. A day before that, they announced the drama officially on Weibo and released a batch of character posters. Life is a retro drama set in the 80s. It is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on IQE. The other drama to rap filming is Nothing But You, starring Liu Wu and Zhou Yutong. They shared rap pictures on their Weibo on September 16th. The drama had been filming since May and is set in the world of racket sports. It tells the story of professional growth and a romance which develops between a club manager and an athlete. And lastly, for drama updates, drama bootings. I also have two to update on, beginning with the Great Cao Xuanxuan, starring Ban Bijou and Zhai Xiaowen. The costume drama shared pictures from their booting ceremony on September 9th. Ban Bijou's last drama to air was 2021's Cute Programmer, whereas Zhai Xiaowen's was 2021's Sweet Teeth. As Drama Wiki explains it, Bambi plays a modern day mystery writer who gets transported to ancient times where she tries to solve a murder case. The other drama to boot up recently is Missing You, a romance modern drama starring Tan Jianchi and Zhou Ye. They held their booting ceremony on September 15th. Tan Jianchi stars in the currently streaming Are You Safe, whereas Zhou Ye was in last year's Reset in July. Chinese drama fans might also recognize her as Gu Xiang from Word of Honor. As Douban explains it, Missing You follows a romance which develops between a professional dubbing artist played by Tan Jianchi and a music-loving student played by Zhou Ye. And that's it for drama updates. Moving on, celebrity updates. And today we begin with a possible Dylan Wang as the Yu reunion. Love Between Fairy and Devil scored big with audiences during its run this summer. 
Not only that, it continues to do good business even after its run. Fan meets are a common after-sales strategy employed by Chinese dramas. On September 17th, Love Between Fairy and Devil held one via live stream and it was a huge success. One of the highlights of the event was when they shared a behind-the-scenes clip where Dylan and Esther locked lips in front of a blue screen. When the director yelled cut, Esther asked Dylan, Why are you kissing me so passionately? You're supposed to be half dead. You're supposed to be on the verge of death. Fans reacted exuberantly to the clip. Many fans have been reluctant to let go of the drama and have been clamoring for a reunion of some kind. Esther echoed those sentiments during the fan meet, calling on producer Wang Yushi to run it back with the cast and crew of Love Between Fairy and Devil and film a new campus drama. While Wang Yushi took the Weibo to respond, he said, Got it, got it, everyone's wishes have been received. A modern drama. The script needs to be polished well. Let us be patient and wait for a good show. Next up for celebrity updates, Cecilia Liu responds to some recent controversy and calls on fans to speak rationally. Cecilia Liu is currently filming A Journey to Love, a costume drama in which she stars with Liu Yining. The drama started filming less than a week ago and it seems there's already trouble brewing. There is dissatisfaction among the fan groups. According to many media outlets, a section of Cecilia Liu's fans are dissatisfied that production hasn't made it abundantly clear that she is the main draw of the drama. Their take is that she is an established A-lister, whereas Liu Yining is a relative newcomer to the drama scene. She is the reason this is an s level drama, and not just any old drama. s is the highest level given to a Chinese drama. S stands for super, and these super dramas have big budgets, and when they air, are the main dramas of their platforms. According to this September 15th Sina Entertainment article, the dissatisfaction got so rife that Cecilia Liu official website and a number of her fan clubs on Weibo recently announced a suspension of activities. This was Cecilia Liu official website's message on September 13th. Now, some netizens are saying this is an overreaction, as the drama clearly has Cecilia Liu as top build on their Weibo. She's also positioned right in the middle of the seven characters on the drama's poster. Cecilia Studio responded to all this. They shared a statement to say that as an actor, Cecilia has always taken her work seriously and interpreted roles with her heart. They added that they would abide by basic principles to handle work issues and resolutely safeguard Cecilia's interests. Quote, We will take Cecilia's career development into consideration and listen to everyone's reasonable suggestions, so please trust us. End quote. At the end, they advocated for everyone who follows Cecilia to join hands and speak rationally. Next up, Cao Lu Si was in the news recently. She came out to shoot down some rumors about her love life. Cao Lu Si has had one heck of a year drama-wise. Her first drama this year was Who Rules the World? That turned out to be a big hit. Her second drama was Love Like the Galaxy. That also turned out to be a huge success. By the way, rumors that she has another drama premiering soon. It's titled Hu Tong, and is a retro drama in which she stars with Neo Ho. The rumored date is September 25th. I'll keep you guys updated on it. According to Sena Entertainment, on September 15th, Cao Lusa's name trended on social media, but it wasn't because of her drama exploits. Rather, it had to do with the speculation surrounding her love life. A couple of gossip bloggers were asked if Cao Lusa and Liu Wu, the stars of Love Like the Galaxy, were an item in real life. The bloggers said no, they were not. The bloggers added that Cao Lusa's boyfriend is a top-notch star with great looks that the couple have filmed together before and had been rumored to be an item before. Quote, they should still be together now, end quote. Well, this led to netizens speculating up a storm as to who this top-notch actor with great looks is. It boiled down to Xiao Zhan or Yang Yang, both of whom have filmed with Cao Lu in the past before. However, it was not long before Cao Lu studio had heard enough. They shared a big red fake on their official Weibo along with the message, Don't fabricate rumors, don't believe rumors, don't spread rumors. 
And before we get to our last story, here's a quick word on ExpressVPN. Now whether I'm at home or traveling, the first thing I do before I surf the net is log on to ExpressVPN and connect to a server. Not only do I use ExpressVPN to protect my data from spies and hackers, I find it especially useful to unblock geo-restricted content like dramas and movies on YouTube, Netflix, WeTV, and other websites. ExpressVPN is giving away 3 extra months free on a 12-month plan to all viewers of my channel. All you have to do is use the link in the description below, expressvpn.com forward slash Marcus here. Now lastly for this segment, what is a love contract and does it really exist? When the Crystal Zhang Xu Kaicheng bombshell dropped at the end of August, the term love contract was discussed quite a bit. The perception is that a love contract deters a celebrity from dating anyone, or at least deters them from making their relationships public. But do those contracts really exist? This so article which came out a couple of weeks ago sheds some light on this. Sohu said they chatted with several industry insiders, and according to them, love contracts do exist, but they're not a separate contract of their own. They usually appear as clauses in general contracts, and these clauses restrict the artist's words and behavior on things like romance and moral issues. Sassy Tang, founder of Tangnan Entertainment, is quoted by the article as saying, the general requirement is to not violate the law and discipline, to not be involved in drugs and pornography, to not cheat and destroy other people's families, etc. Some young artists are positioned as actors, but they have many female fans, so the company will have corresponding agreements. For example, if you are coupled with a girl for a show, don't reveal that you are dating, keep being single, or it may affect couple after sales. Another industry insider, Monan, is quoted as saying, For idols, not being able to fall in love is a hidden rule that everyone knows well. As an idol, whether it is selling dreams or the image of a perfect boyfriend, falling in love is considered behavior that destroys the character. Once the relationship is exposed, one must bear the consequences of losing fans. Basically, if you are the type who likes to date or who falls in love easily, the idol industry might not be for you. On that note, it's Tuesday today, so time for another segment of Where's Mark Is At. The title of the segment doesn't refer to where I'm at physically, it refers to where I'm at in the dramas I'm following. I'm currently following two dramas. I'm on episode 16 of Side Story of Fox Volant, starring Qin Junjie and Liang Jie. I'm following it on Wii TV, where it's available with English subs. Didn't watch too many episodes of it this week, was busy being sick and everything. Also, I started watching another show, not a Chinese one, but one that I'm completely hooked on right now. The Game of Thrones spin-off, House of the Dragon. I'm all caught up to episode 5 and I'm following it on HBO. Who else is watching this binge-worthy show? And that's been another segment of Where's Mark Is At? It also brings us to the end of this episode. This show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is a heart-shaped button with a dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.